Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Before Mickey Gutton performed the national anthem at Super Bowl LVI on Sunday, a few other performers took the stage at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. Denny Aiko delivered a performance of America the Beautiful from the field. Aiko, dressed in a sequin gown, was accompanied by a harpist and her performance was intercut with footage of US soldiers watching her performance from where they were stationed overseas. Aiko is a Grammy nominee, having earned an Album of the Year nom last year for Chilobobo. For the national anthem and America the Beautiful, actress Sanja May Frank performed both songs in American Sign Language on behalf of the National Association of the Deaf. Meanwhile, Mary Mary hit the stage outside the stadium to give a performance of Lift Every Voice and Sing prior to Aiko's performance. The gospel duo were dressed in coordinated sparkly blue attire backed by their L.A. Phil's Yola Youth Orchestra Los Angeles and conducted by Thomas Wilkins, principal conductor of the L.A. Phil Hollywood Bowl Orchestra. Players and fans inside SoFi watched the duo, natives of Eaglewood, California, where the stadium is located as they performed on screens inside the venue. Other pre-show entertainment included DJ producer Zet, who served as the official program pre-game DJ during player warm-ups. In addition, the Air Force conducted a flyover during the national anthem in honour of the military branch's 75th anniversary. And Halle Berry got NBC's official kickoff show to start with a video of the history of NFL and the Super Bowl, along with a montage of various iconic football films that featured appearances by Carrie Underwood, Joan Lapan, Kevin Hart, Peyton Manning and more stars and athletes. Appropriately enough, with the game being played in Los Angeles, several Hollywood stars were in attendees, including Charlize Theron, Mark Wahlberg, Sean Penn and Matt Damon. Dwayne Johnson also hit the field to introduce the teams prior to kickoff, dressed in a violet-hued t-shirt and maroon-coloured pants. The show also included the presentation of a Walton Payton Man of the Year Award, which was given to Rams offence linesman Andrew Whitworth for his philanthropic efforts in Los Angeles. Thanks for listening. For more celebrity news, please like, comment and subscribe.